morning everybody welcome back to another vlog it is Tuesday and I am actually just outside of the Taylor's house that I dropped off my stuff last week to get tailored or altered or whatever you call it um, and I will be picking that stuff up and trying it on it's gonna be in a main channel video coming up soon but um yeah it's my first time doing it so far it's been a pretty easy experience we'll see how everything turns out I'm like five minutes early for my appointment so I'm just killing some time I made myself a little coffee this morning I bought this cold foam from um, the grocery store. I can't remember what brand it is, but it's like a sweet cream cold foam. So I just did like a little bit of almond milk and the sweet cream cold foam mix in and it's really good. Definitely has a bit of an artificial flavor, almost like whipped cream or something, but it's still good. But anyways, um, yeah, I am running around today doing a bunch of errands and stuff. It's kind of like a catch up day um, in my week. And I actually wanted to give you an update on the bunny situation because sadly, I think the chapter is over. She's okay. She's okay. She's definitely still alive. The babies are still alive as far as we know, but I am so frustrated because in case you haven't kept up with the last couple of vlogs, we found out there was a bunny making a burrow or a nest in our backyard. And we got really excited because we were like, maybe she's having babies soon or maybe she already had babies. And so we've been on bunny watch and we actually bought a trail camera, like a hunting camera. I documented the whole thing in the last vlog. It was a whole mess. I was trying to get everything like together and we were having nothing but trouble with this camera. I don't know if we just are dumb or we just got like a bad camera or whatever, but it has given us nothing but problems. So anyways, um, after two failed nights of attempting to get footage of this bunny, the first night the memory card was like corrupted. The second night, the wind blew the camera upwards towards the trees, so couldn't see anything all night except the wind blowing in the trees. You couldn't see anything on the ground. And then last night was the third night, and we did get some footage of the bunny, I will say. However, the camera only recorded in 30 second increments and it's supposed to be like a motion sensor thing. So when there's motion, it triggers the camera and then it's supposed to record for like an extended period of time, I thought, but it only recorded for 30 seconds at a time. So I believe we got like four different videos of the bunny at around midnight-ish, like midnight to like one in the morning, but the camera didn't record like hardly any of the thing and so this is probably our bad like we probably weren't using it correctly i swore up and down that we read the instruction manual front to back we made sure to check all of the settings on the camera like there was so much trial and error so we were like okay tonight's the night and um i mean i'm glad that we recorded what we did because now i feel like we're doing our detective work and we're putting pieces together but basically, long story short, um, there's some footage of her around midnight and she's digging at the hole. You can see that she's digging. After that, you see a clip where she actually like sees the camera or just notices the camera or something like that um, and is like, what the heck? And gets up really close to the camera. So that was really cute. And then a little while later, you can actually see just like off to the side, she's like off to, in a corner. And you can see a set of eyes and then you can see another set of eyes. So what we think happened was she took the babies out or the babies were old enough to go out on their own and maybe she didn't give birth when we thought she did. And maybe the day we saw her was the day she was actually like feeding them or something or maybe she moved them, I have no idea. But based off of what we've seen on the camera and please feel free to give your thoughts. Um, yeah, we haven't touched her. The camera was far enough away there was nothing you know the camera is silent there's no light anything like that so it's not the camera and it's not any environmental things unless like another predator came in or something but either way we did have a sighting of at least one baby and the mom maybe two babies i can't remember and um yeah that's the update i am devastated because i think the camera missed the bulk of what was going on <laughs> so we're just having to like put the pieces together honestly i think i'm gonna return the camera like it's just been a mess but yeah to close the chapter off i'm pretty sure bunny gate is over i'm really really sad i thought that there was going to be so much cute footage of like baby bunnies coming out of their burrow but sadly that is not the case so anyways okay it's one minute till my appointment i gotta go i'm gonna head inside and check in with you guys later but just wanted to keep you updated on the bunny situation i do think miss jellybean has gotten her babies and she's moved out I'm really sad about it. If there are any updates, I'll let you know in this vlog. But in the meantime, I think the bunny chapter has closed, but I'm just happy that she's still alive and thriving and all that good stuff. So, okay, we will check in in a bit. 
right, next we're gonna make a quick stop into Savers because I wanna see if they have a dining chair because we're missing one and it's bothering me and it's been like a month. So we'll see. Let's do it. That was a bit of a strikeout, that's okay. Um, sorry for the AC noise, by the way. Hopefully it's not too bad, but it is impossible to not have it on. It, you would die. Next order of business is I actually need to get a package shipped to Alexa for her birthday because Alexa and I were gonna do her annual birthday trip in Laguna Beach, but then she got summoned for jury duty. So we had to put the trip on pause just in case. Um, and so now I have this stuff that I thrifted for her that I was gonna bring on the trip, but I wanna make sure she gets it by her birthday, which is in a few days. So I'm going to get some packing supplies because one of the things is like a framed piece of art that has glass. So I wanna make sure I like wrap it in some bubble wrap or something. I wanna get her a card and then like a box to ship it in. So I think I'm gonna stop at like Walgreens, CVS, whatever is in the area to see about the packing materials and the card and then I'll head over to the post office, package everything up and drop it off. I wish I, now that I'm thinking about it, would have brought my packing tape, but sometimes USPS has boxes available that like self seal, like they have the little strip. So I don't know, we'll see. It's kind of an odd shaped thing. So that's gonna be our next order of business. Just running a couple more errands. I do think I need to stop by Target as well. We just need a couple household items, grocery items, things like that. But I may end up going to the grocery store for that too. So we'll see. <laughs> Exciting times. I worked late last night so that I could like run these errands today. And um, yeah, you know, cheers. Come along with me. What an exciting day in the life. I'm honestly just happy that it's not like 200 degrees yet. It feels, what, honestly, what is the temperature right now? It feels manageable at the moment. It's 98, okay? It's gonna be a scorcher today, but it's a lot better than it has been, that's for sure. Okay, we got all the supplies, and now I'm just gonna wrap everything up and hope for the best. I am sincerely hoping that this doesn't get broken along the way. I did get bubble wrap just to be safe. Hopefully it'll be okay. Good thing I bought a roll of tape. Honestly, it doesn't hurt to have a roll of packing tape in your car. You just never know. Why did I pick only fragile things? I don't know. There's drama. Drama in the parking lot. Well, I guess I'm gonna throw the extra bubble wrap in there just for safety then she can reuse it in the future when she ships things. This looks terrible. I also got her some of her favorite snacks. Oh my God, this man is wearing the most iconic shirt. This man has to be like 90 years old and he's wearing a Garfield shirt that says, sorry, too lazy to care or something like that. That was incredible. He's not my finest job. Now I will write the card and then we will ship her off to California. <laughs> Sadly, I can't be there. Done. Let's go ship it. And then I need to cool off. It's getting hot. Okay, it's a little bit later. I am recovering from the heat. It is, I was like, it's not that hot yet. And then all of a sudden it was extremely hot. But um, got home. Are, we're doing laundry. We're in the middle of doing laundry. I'm heating up my lunch at the moment, but I thought that I would show you a very exciting package that I got because um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen me talk about this, but I fumbled the bag the first time around when Taylor Swift made her cardigans when she released Folklore in 2020. And um, I just kind of like, I don't know, I took too long to decide if I wanted it and I was like, eh, I'm just gonna hold off, it's, it's expensive, like I'll get it later. And then it sold out and so I missed my opportunity. And they have, I've had them saved and favorited on Poshmark for four years and they're trying to charge like $300 or more for a cardigan. <laughs> Drew's in the corner and he just went, but I did, when she re-released it, I did get it the second time around. And here 
It is. Oh my god, it's really oversized. Wow. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm late to the party, but I don't care. I finally have her. I finally have the folklore cardigan. This is so exciting. Only thought about this for four years. It's so cute. No, this is exactly how I would want it to fit. It feels like 2020 again. I'm like back in this house, which is, you know, when folklore came. <laughs> Ugh. We're grateful. We're just joking. Anyways, that's so exciting. So I don't think they're available anymore, but they were just randomly. Oh my god, there's fuzz everywhere. I need to wash it. They just randomly were put back online for like a few days, so I grabbed it. Anyways, okay. I'm gonna go back to my leftovers now. Got my leftover gyudon from last night, which is like a really thinly shaved beef, onion, and egg in like a dashi mirin soy sauce sugar sauce. It's very delicious. Got some white rice and then a cherry, no, hibiscus flavored LaCroix. This is actually delicious. Kind of tastes like a cherry icy. And that is today's lunch. Hello everyone. It is, I don't even know how many days later. I don't even remember what I filmed from this vlog yet, but it is Thursday, the day I'm filming this. It is a big filming day. I have just been trying to stay on top of everything, running two channels by myself. Can be chaotic sometimes, I'm not complaining at all. I am so fortunate to be able to do this, but I feel like I'm just always dropping the ball in one place or another. But I am filming a closet clean out video. I'm wearing this cute little dress. I got this on Urban Outfitters probably like four years ago, three years ago, something like that. I love it. Haven't worn it in a while, so I'm feeling super cute. There's something stuck to my foot. Every time here <laughs> that there's like potentially something stuck to my foot, I'm always like, what creature is this? Is it a scorpion? You know, you just have to be a lot more vigilant and aware. But yeah, I am in the process of filming a closet clean out. I need to make a snack. I need to send some footage to my editor to edit for this week's video. She edits one main channel video for me a week and she's amazing. I love her, Tara. Love you, girl. I need to film the pieces that I got back for the alterations. <laughs> alterations. I need to film the rest of that video. Um, I need to finish this vlog at some point. I need to submit a concept to a brand that I'm working with in September, but the timeline is like, it's really long and stretched out. Um, and so I need to send that by the end of the day today. I need to start editing this vlog to make sure it gets up in time. I need to make a thumb, actually I need to make two thumbnails, but I still got up this morning, did my workout, took my vitamins, made my smoothie, really proud of myself for that. It's like 10 a.m right now I think. Drew's mom is also coming over for dinner tonight around like 4 30 something like that five o'clock. She's gonna come hang out and have some dinner so I need to make sure I do all of that before then but it's only like 10 10 30 right now so I've got enough time I think. If my ADHD doesn't get the best of me today I feel like I will be able to like slot out enough time for all of this and hopefully get all of this filming done because filming a main channel video takes like three hours. It takes so long. I don't know why and I need to film too as well as this one has a brand deal in it and then do all those other things, but we can do it. It's a busy day, but I am very, very excited to do it. So we will get back to work, do all this filming, the closet clean out and stuff, and then we will check in in a bit. Oh, and also here is a better view of the dress. It is so, so cute. I love it. I have my little shorts underneath, but it's short, but it's not too short to where you can like see them. See, it's adorable. And then I have this little like beaded necklace on with my charm necklace. And that's the outfit of the day. I feel like for the first time, I am finally noticing my hair getting longer again. Also, I'm noticing that I need to clean this mirror, but we're not gonna talk about that. I feel like I'm finally recognizing that my hair is in fact growing because it's been the same length for like a year and a half and it's really starting to get to me. I have been fighting the urge to get extensions all the time. I just really don't wanna deal with the maintenance of it all. So this is what we're dealing with for the time being, but I do think it looks cute and it's finally getting back to long again. All right, it's a little while later. I just realized I'm still mic'd up, but I'm not completely done with this video yet. I still have one more section of the closet clean out to do, but um, we're taking a little break because I made a snack. Why am I out of breath from just running up the stairs? <sighs> I will get used to it as time goes on, but um, we did in fact install our bird feeder camera thingy in the backyard and we have gotten a lot of really cute bird footage. We've only been able to get three different types of bird to get on the bird feeder so far. But we've seen
seen probably like five or six different species. We've seen quails, thrashers, grackers or something like that. Hold on. What's the type of bird that starts with a G again? Grackles. Grackles, um, finches, a couple different kinds of finches, morning doves white winged doves. And then I think that's it. So I think like, yes, yeah, six or so. Our friend has an Arizona bird book and she is going to report back afterwards. She was out today. So, cause we're all talking about it in our friend's group chat. They were asking about bunny watch. I had to report to them the same news I did to you. It's just like, ugh, I'm still so mad about it. We're both like, Really not over it yet, but. Anywho, just made myself a little snack. We are going to persevere. It is now noon. So I've hopefully only got like another hour of this video. There's a lot to do. So we gotta, we gotta get moving. See, no more bunnies. We did close up the hole though, cause it was open for like three days. So she's gone. I can't remember if I mentioned this, but I did confirm like 100% that she's gone because we did leave the camera out for two more nights and she never came. So that was it. Her babies were gone, the hole was open, and they've moved on to greener pastures. Except, I don't, hopefully they didn't die. I think they just like moved somewhere else in the desert. So here is, I don't know if I showed it on camera or not, but here's the bird feeder we got. It's so cute. We got a little bird seed mixture and some of the bigger birds eat the corn and then the littler birds eat like the seeds. And they make quite a mess, but that's okay. And then the bird bath is still going strong. So cute. Also, if you saw that, in a past vlog. I don't know if it was in the shot, but um, the old neighbors left it there and then the wind blew it over in that bush. And honestly, we're just keeping it out of the way for now because I'm not going all the way up there to take that down, but it's like a little hammock seat. So maybe once it's cooler out, we'll use it. But it is like 108 degrees. So that's me outside for the day. Hello. So it is actually like, I think over a week later, I've, I'm still getting used to vlogging again. <laughs> Forgive me. I did completely fail at documenting all of that stuff I was filming in this vlog. I went and looked back at the footage and I was like, oh wow, you know, when I'm busy, I just completely stop being able to stay on top of like anything that I'm doing. I like cannot vlog. I don't know how the girlies do it. I don't know how people shoot content on, on multiple platforms. Um, like they film main channel videos and vlog or they vlog and do short form or whatever. Like I feel like one thing always you know, falls off. But anyways, it is now Tuesday, Tuesday morning, and I'm just getting ready. I did a bunch of um, work stuff on the computer this morning, did my workout. Now I am gonna do some filming. Pretty much exactly the same as earlier in this vlog that you saw. I put on a fresh coat of self tan. It's not gonna look this dark when I rinse it off, although I wish it did, but I'm just very fair and I can't seem to get it super dark on me. But I was actually reading through some of my own comments as well as some comments on vlogs that I was watching. And I kind of just wanted to sit down and like chat about it and have a little bit of a rant and some people really don't like rants because they just want to see like sunshine positivity all the time and I think that's great but also this is just like real life you know what I mean and it's really getting under my skin not even for myself but for like other creators as well and people who are younger than me and basically it's just all about the topic of like aging online and aging in a way not even physically but in a way like emotionally or mentally or whatever that like aligns or that is acceptable by like society or other people and it's just so weird like my whole life i've gotten a lot of kind of commentary or pushback on the fact that like i move a lot i've always moved a lot i've mentioned that before it used to really bother me when people would make comments on it and now it's just kind of like i don't know why do you care it really doesn't bother me and and so i get a lot of sort of like passive aggressive like i don't know how you move so much i could never do that or like where even are you these days like where are you living you know blah 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 and it's like i'm just living my life i'm just having fun <laughs> like i don't know i'm a dink that's an acronym for double income no kids i drew and i are just living our best lives like we're just going wherever the wind takes us and having a good time doing it you know and so lumped in with a lot of that is like aren't you too old to be moving so much or like i got a comment one time that said it's honestly embarrassing that you move so much at your big age <laughs> which first of all okay clock me second of all what does that mean like are you not allowed to move at a certain age and most people i know to be fair in big cities they move like every one to two years it's like a pretty normal thing but I understand that not everyone is like that and moving can be really really stressful for a lot of people I've done it so much moving like growing up I literally went to like eight or nine different schools I think from kindergarten to my senior year of high school like I'm just used to moving it's just what I know my parents move I move it's just what we do and even removing me out of it there are 
like other creators that I watch who live all over the place, who like move every one, two, three years, something like that. And I've noticed that they get a lot of comments about it as well. I promise I'll get into the age thing more, but um, they get a lot of comments on it as well. And they have to constantly defend the fact that like they're moving and it's just so bizarre. Like why do people care? I just don't understand it. Anyways, so I think a lot of that also comes from the fact of like, you, when you're a certain age, you need to have X, Y, and Z completed in order to be like accepted by society. And I get so many questions about being child free, about not being married, about not owning a house, you know, all these different things that like are almost insinuating like, well, when are you gonna do those things, you know? And it's like, what if some people just don't want to? I just constantly think of all of the people who are younger than me, who are in positions of like, maybe not wanting to get married or have kids or buy a house or settle down somewhere. We are like obsessed as a society with this idea of like a forever home. I see that all the time, people talking about like, we found our forever home, or I get questions all the time of like, is this gonna be your forever home and it's like I just I don't like I don't even think that far into the future but also with the housing market being what it is and stuff like I don't know how you can know if it's gonna be your forever home or not like people are getting priced out of their neighborhoods and like everything's so expensive and I know I'm just ranting but like even as of like this morning I got a comment that said something along the lines of like my main channel content isn't age appropriate for my age and that I need to grow up stop pretending that I want to be younger I get that a lot like you're obsessed with Gen Z trends or trying to be trendy with young people or whatever. And I'm literally just being myself. Like I'm literally just living my life being my authentic self. And it feels sometimes like women in society can't win because what do you mean age appropriate? Like I am my age and I'm making the content, so it is age appropriate, you know? I totally get that not every 36 year old is on TikTok and like wants to explore the newest trends and try the fun recipes and things like that. I'm having a blast doing it and like it's all lighthearted and fun and I don't know, like it's just, there's such a, like an air of judginess and shaminess involved in that. And it's not just that one specific comment, by the way, I've gotten this comment for years and years. Um, and even like, honestly, since I was like in my late twenties of people being like, grow up, like you're too old for this. And I'm like, says who? I just find it so bizarre. And like every, all of my friends, you know, from high school, all of my friends that I have in my life that are my age, like we like the same things. We do the same things. I don't understand. It's just very confusing. I'm like, what is the perception of a of a mature 36 year old in someone's eyes? Cause like I've built two businesses from the ground up that I've run completely myself that I started in my bedroom in a house that I shared with like six other people seven, eight years ago. Like, I just don't know what you mean. Like, I'm like, do you want me to knit? Like I, first of all, I like the idea of that. Second of all, like, I just don't, what is age appropriate? Do you know what I mean? Is it because I'm like not a corporate nine to five girly? Is it because I like, you know, meme humor, you know, things like that. So obviously this is me just getting a little bit vulnerable, but I'm like speaking for all of the women online. It's not about me. It's just, it pisses me off when we have these societal expectations for women. And most of the time it's coming from other women. There are people out there who are calling us, what is it like psychopathic cat ladies or whatever it is? Like we need to like be uplifting and supporting each other. Do you know what I mean? And so I just wanna send so much love to anyone who's out there who feels like maybe they're misunderstood or judged or have been told to act your age or dress your age or grow up or conform to whatever societal norm that they want you to or you need to get married, you need to buy a house, you need to have kids. Because like the thing that I've noticed is I have plenty like most of my friends are either married and have kids or both and like i've noticed that when you're dating you're constantly being asked when you're gonna get engaged when you're engaged you're constantly being asked when you're gonna get married when you get married you're constantly being asked when you're gonna have kids and when you have kids you're constantly being asked when you're gonna have more kids it's just really bizarre and so i just want to serve as representation for people in their 30s or 40s or 50s or whatever age or 20s who are just doing them and like please keep being yourself please keep taking up space please keep dressing the way you want to dress acting the way you want to act being the way you want to be because it's perfect 
perfect. And whatever age you are and whatever you're doing in your life, that is age appropriate because you're that age and you're doing it. Do you know what I mean? I hope that I'm not like coming across too aggressive. I'm just a passionate person, so I speak very passionately, but I just genuinely mean this in the sense of, I just want women to be able to be whoever the hell they are and celebrate them for that. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm just talking in circles at this point, but I kind of wanted to end this vlog on that note and just, yeah, let people know that it's okay to like walk your own path and it's okay to do things differently than other people do them. And I hope that you will continue being empowered to just be your authentic self, no matter what that is, no matter what your gender, your age, how you dress, your personality, whatever it is, um, and just be your authentic self. So that's all i'm gonna end this here thanks so much for hanging out with me during this vlog i will try to stay more on top of it i think currently the like goal schedule that i'm going for is uploading a vlog on wednesdays and a main channel video on sundays that feels like very manageable and sustainable for me at the moment maybe occasional videos here and there but yeah let me know what you think about that and i will see you very soon in the next vlog